Hi, I'm Tony Hoare of VidiSense. Today I'm talking to you about the finger and thumb pruning technique as part of my five minute pruning expert series. The finger and thumb is a great pruning technique for adding extra yield, for having a really cost effective vigor control tool to lower vigor, and also as a really cost effective yield reduction technique. So, finger and thumb, what does it mean? The finger is essentially a short cane or a long spur. So it's about four to six buds and that forms the finger. The thumb sits at the base of the finger and is a two bud replacement spur. That forms your replacement spur for the following season. The finger adds the extra yield. So the four to six buds on a finger will generally add an extra one to two bunches per bud, depending upon bud fruitfulness. The number of fingers to add on a vine is really dependent on the vigor of the vine. So if a vine is able to support more, you will see that it will be a stronger vine and it will have greater vigor and more suitable canes. Those canes need to be above pencil thickness. The reason being they need to be able to support the fruit without any added trellising wire or without having to wrap any canes down. So that's what makes it such a cost effective way to add extra yield. The fingers are self-supporting and generally the location of them is where the higher vigor parts of the vine are. So close to the trunk, on either side of the trunk and then at the ends of the cordons. So besides adding extra yield potential, the fingers can also be used as a devigorating tool. That's quite simple. So what you do is you leave these for a season and what happens is that the vine will automatically adjust and will lower vigor for the following season. If you decide that the vigor balance has returned after doing that for a season, you can return back to two bud spurs quite comfortably. If it hasn't, then leave the fingers for another season and that'll help soak up extra vigor. So it's a great way to bring vines back into balance. The other useful tool Finger and Thumb offers is as a, a yield reduction tool or crop thinning tool. And the way it does that is instead of bunch thinning, which can be complicated, expensive, slow to perform, and also can lead to in, increased disease pressure from damaging bunches, neighboring the bunches you're removing, the fingers can be simply cut prior to veraison and any bunches that are on those fingers will simply dehydrate. They're easier to find than trying to remove bunches and they're just a simple one cut and you can remove multiple bunches at a time by cutting the fingers. I really think finger and thumb is worth looking at for all those three reasons and now I'll show you how to do it. This is a vine which we're going to prune with finger and thumb technique. So we begin at the end of the cordon. So here we are. The first thing I'm looking for is a really nice cane to form my finger. So generally they occur, as I mentioned, at the end of the cordons and in the middle of the, the vine, just above the trunk. So here we are. I've got a lovely strong cane here, which is above pencil thickness. It also has a cane coming out of the base, which can form the the replacement spur or the thumb. So I've got my finger, I'm going to prune that to four to six buds. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to cut through the top of that sixth bud. I'm then going to do a two bud replacement spur at the base. I now move across the vine, spurring anything that looks like it's good enough. Above pencil thickness is two bud spurs and anything that's less as a single bud spur. This is just pruning to vigor. It's important to understand that. You don't want to be overloading the weaker canes and you want to be getting yield from the stronger canes. I'm spacing out my spurs so I have a nice hands width between them because I don't want any bunch crowding. I've now got towards the crown of the vine and this is where I'm going to find 
probably the, the strongest canes, which will be the best candidates for finger and thumb. And here's one here. It's lovely and strong, it's vertical. It's gonna be able to support the bunches without falling over. Even though I do have a catch wire here, you can do it without a catch wire. You don't necessarily need a catch wire. So I'm gonna to count to five. One, two, three, four, five, and cut through the sixth bud. If the finger was a little bit weaker, I'd probably go back to four buds instead. Now I've got my two bud replacement spur at the base. And I've got another candidate here. This is a little bit into the mid row for my liking, but for the sake of the exercise, I'm gonna leave this one. And this can be pulled up with a, a foliage wire later on if need be. Now, the remainder of the vine is pretty much just spur pruned. So single and two bud spurs except when I get to the end and there may be another finger in the offing. And here we are here, looks like here's a nice strong cane again for one more finger. The replacement spur doesn't necessarily have to be immediately under the cane, under the finger, it can be nearby. So that's my replacement spur there. And there you have it, finger and thumb. So we have now an extra three, six, nine, 12 buds on this vine, which could equate to as much as an extra 12 bunches. That's gonna result in extra yield, that's extra money in your pocket. So I highly recommend you have a look at this technique and give it a try.